Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today is going to be a very relaxed, simple video, I think. And um, I will talk about the countries that I dream to go to Africa. And I think I will write about it in my blog, uh, my simple blog, because it's not a blog that makes money. It's just something that I share. A blog where I have all my thoughts and I share and I, uh, and I have my, you know, my stories, my memories and all of this that I share in this blog. Um, there are countries, you know, I know that I've been talking a lot about what is wrong in, what is wrong in the, in my continent, which is actually true. It is true, but it doesn't remove, okay, the fact that it is a beautiful continent. It is the richest continent of the world, Africa. And I really, I truly believe it. it. It's not about believing, it's a fact. And that's why I, I, that's why there are so much of this instability, you no, know, the lack of stability, uh, throughout the continent. It's on purpose. It's not something done. Accidentally, it's on purpose. Unfortunately, we do not have, um, we have few, few leaders who are very patriotic and nationalist. Um, most of them are unfortunately. So when I, I watch a video of uh, two YouTuber influencer, from a country in Africa, I don't know where they are from, but they came to my country and I didn't know how beautiful it was. I knew it was beautiful, but seriously, I see, I've seen some videos that really moved me and people have been posting and I didn't know because you know, my country is called the last Eden and uh, I have been very curious to know why. And it's a fact. It's true. It's, there is something about this country. Unfortunately, I hope that the authorities of my country will do something about the tourist, the tourism, you know, to really, um, improve the condition of tourism when it comes to road, when it comes to stuff like that, you no know, flying, all this, you no know, transportation in every aspect. I hope they will do it because the country is very beautiful. But there are also other countries in Africa where I dream to go. And I didn't know there was a train. There was a train. Uh, I don't know where it comes, where it goes, but it goes through some countries, uh, like Zimbabwe. It goes down a very luxury train. I didn't know that. I found out, um, about this train, uh, recently. I will talk, I will put some details later in this video, but I will really, I really want to try. Um, this train. You go, you cross, I think, three or four countries in Africa in the, like from Zimbabwe, maybe Mozambique, I don't know. I have to, I have, I have to check it. It's beautiful. The train is luxury. It happened in the continent as well. And, but there are countries that I want to go. And I think I have some reasons why maybe I want to go. The first one is Botswana. I don't know why. I've been in love with this country for a long time. I don't even know why I want to go to Botswana. And I think um, it has something special. A few years ago, I have met people from Botswana, not like meeting, like being with them, but I met them because my sister introduced me to them. I mean, I was just telling them, look, I want to go to your country. I don't know. I would like to visit Botswana. It looks like a very beautiful country. That country make, um, you know, they, uh, they make, they, uh, they have diamond. I think they have like two type of diamonds. And what I like about Botswana is what they did, um, when I was in the taxi one day. I think it was back home. I don't remember when. It was years, some years ago. You know, Botswana used to do, used to ex, uh, extract diamond, like rough, 
in Wall State. And they were selling the diamonds to a big company like the Beers, you know, the Beers like jewelry and stuff like that, extreme luxury um, uh, jewelry. And the Beers were, they were taking, I think, if I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, eh? but I think I read it or I, I heard it or I read it. And then they were doing, they were selling the rough diamond. And this rough diamond, they were taking to, I think, the UK, I mean, where the beers was, I don't know. And they were polishing, they were, you know, make it look better and they sell the diamond. But, Years, uh, there is no long, long time. I mean, some years ago, if I remember, I read it. Was when I say no. Now, since we know how to polish, because they have been trained to do that. I mean, they, they were some factory. I think they were doing that in Boston. I don't know how, but I have to remember how. And Boston, I say no. Now, now we're gonna do it ourselves, and we're gonna sell the fine product. The fine diamond, like, like clean polish to these international, uh, brands. And they could make even more money doing that because, you know, countries like mine, we just, we just sell the product natural and rough. It doesn't, it's not like when you refine it, it's even more, you know, more money than what you, you know, than what you sell. And I was impressed by what Botswana did. Like, this is very independent. This is something that I really was moved when I, I was touched. I say, wow, this is an African country that I should probably follow and see what they are doing because it seems that they really want to be independent in some ways. And it's a beautiful country. Like, I think it's where they have Okavongo. I think Okavongo is in Botswana. I think, yeah. I would like to go to, go to visit, to see the Okavongo site and all this. Go to Gabaron, 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 the capital city. First country. The second country I'm dreaming to go is Namibia. I want to go to Namibia. I don't know why. And the desert of Namibia. This is a beautiful country. I'm dreaming to go in Windhoek, 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 the capital city. I saw some picture. In the, in, uh, maybe I should visit again online, but yes, I would like to go there. I would like to go there. Where do I want to go? I want to go to, you say, I want to visit Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, uh, there is a lot of memories for my parents, especially, because yes, I wasn't born there. My brother was born in Ivory Coast. He was born in Abidjan. And Ivory Coast has welcomed a lot of uh, immigrants of Africa and other countries in the world as well. Abidjan was a, I mean, we, we used to call it, uh, Abidjan Label. And Abidjan, you know, in terms of culture, in terms of, you know, everything that they have, I like the art, traditional outfit. I like, you no, know, it's just wonderful. And my father was inspired by them because of the agricultural, uh, culture. They know there are many farmers, uh, people who are planting a lot of, um, cocoa. And I think Ivory Coast is probably the second world producer of cocoa. If I'm not wrong, maybe the second point. I mean, do it's, no, it's probably Ghana. I have to review that. Please put the comment if you know. It's between Ghana or Ivory Coast, but Ivory Coast is a beautiful country. Uh, they have one of the biggest uh, cathedral, basilic um, in uh, the biggest one in the world. I don't know how they keep it because that's probably a lot of um, uh, money to to uh, to um, to keep it, you know. Um, what else? Ivory Coast is beautiful. It's next to the, there has a laguna. They call, I think, yeah, in, in, and then this country has a very, a very rich cultural background. And I grew up with their music as well. You know, when uh, I told you uh, we had African Miro 1, African Miro 1 was a Pan African radio. 
and we listen to so many music of the African continent in general. I will know songs from North Africa, I will know songs from West Africa, South Africa. We knew all this music because of Africa knew. The next country I'm dreaming to go in Africa is probably Morocco. I'm very curious to know, to see how Morocco is, especially um, where people like to go, Marrakech and Tanger, where they have many movies. You know, American people make movies there, European make movies there. And I think there is a place uh, like, uh, I don't I don't think a mansion, but a beautiful place where Yves Saint Laurent used to live. Yves Saint Laurent, the brand, the French designer, I think he used to live somewhere in Morocco. Uh, I don't know if it's more Marrakech, I don't know. But I'm just curious to go there and discover, yeah. These are the countries I'm dreaming to go to Africa. Yeah. This continent is beautiful. And then to close, I want to visit, uh, Congo. I mean, all the Congo and Gabon. I really want to take time to visit my country because I didn't know how beautiful it was. And I want to go to these countries, my country itself, which is called Las Eden, Eden. And I want to go to the two Congos because the two Congos are beautiful. It's the heart of Africa. This, this part of Africa is full and rich of natural resources. And that, that part of the continent, there is something about this area of Congo. You know, the valley, I don't know, the, the soil basin of Congo. This area is so rich and it makes people questioning about, it makes people making a lot of, um, speculation about this part of this continent, this part of the continent. This is the heart of the African continent, the Congo. And if you see how these countries are so rich, you see Congo, Congo DRC, Congo Brazzaville, Gabon, Guinea Equatorial now, but you see how it is. You see how it just, I saw a picture of some influencer who went for tourism. I was amazed. I was amazed. It's a beautiful country. Without the shadow of that, Africa is the beautiful country in the world.